Okay, this is Orlando Wilson, and I want to answer a question in this video slash podcast that somebody sent me about training and the best way to train and learn for the close protection investigations business, etc. I would say, and I say this to everybody attending my courses online, offline, etc. You need to start applying what you're learning to your daily life. You need to be doing, let's start off at a base level, threat assessments. People do threat assessments all the time. You want to be doing a threat assessment on yourself on a regular basis. If you're going to different locations, do threat assessments on those locations. If you're going on holiday, do threat assessments on those locations, hotels, how you're going to be traveling, etc. Um, you can be doing an assessment on just driving to work, getting to work, whether you're taking a bus, a train, a car, a plane, etc. You're planning that trip out. You're looking for different problems along that trip. Again, especially stuff like counter surveillance, you want to be doing counter surveillance constantly. You constantly want to be watching for people, watching you, following you, etc. Whether it's your home, your business, your workplace, you want to know the various areas, the various routes in and out of that place where you could be put under surveillance exiting entering etc etc you want to be working out where people could watch you from while you're out and about when you're at home when you're at work when you're at your business etc so this is where a lot of what a lot of the topics if you want to call them topics that apply to close protection personal security investigations etc you can apply those skills those skill sets to your everyday life and you want to live that life the investigation security business if you're serious about it protection business if you're serious about it is a way of life it's not a job you're not going to just start at nine o'clock in the morning finish five o'clock in the afternoon and that's it if you're dealing with serious clients it's 24 7. if you're dealing with serious investigations it's 24 7. why because you could be targeted so this is why I've said in other videos, articles, etc. There's many people in the close protection business, investigations business, etc. that claim to be able to protect other people. They can't protect themselves. They can't protect their families. They can't protect their cats and dogs. Think about that one. So again, it's down to you need to be able to protect yourself before you can protect other people. And how do you learn how to do that? Well, you can start by applying the principles of personal security, close protection, et cetera, et cetera, to your everyday lives. That way it becomes, it's not even routine, it's back down to muscle memory. Same as martial arts, same as firearms training, it's muscle memory. You're not thinking about it, you're doing it, you're living it, it's your way of life. So I hope that answers a question. In the meantime, follow me along on social media for more videos, podcasts, etc., on various aspects of the security business, close protection investigations, kidnap and ransom. Um, also check out the books I have on Amazon, the articles I have on my blogs. And also don't forget, we supply a fuller range of consultancy, uh, close protection and investigation services internationally. So if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And again, follow me along on social media. A lot of the stuff we've got up should answer a lot of your questions. But still, if they don't answer your questions, feel free to reach out to me. In the meantime, be good, stay safe, and as always, try to stay out of trouble.